In this video, we talk about Fermat's number. We say an integer of the form fn that is equal to 2 to the power 2 to the power n plus 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 is known as Fermat's number. And if this fn, this is prime, then we call this number as Fermat's prime. Let us look at first few numbers. f naught, this value is 3 because you can see that we can take n is equal to 0. So the uh, least possibility. Then we consider f1, this is equal to 5, f2, this is 17, f3, 257. And by looking at this list, we see that all these numbers are going to be prime. So that is why Fermat initially con conjectured that any number of this type is going to be a prime number. But you can see that later on, we find a composite number also. So this is 6, 5, 5, 3, 7. And f5, this is equal to 4, 2, 9, 4, 9, 6, 7. 297 and we know that this is divisible by 641 so this conjecture by Fermat that this is the formula for the prime number is not true and as we see that f5 is a composite number but Fermat uh, numbers or the Fermat primes numbers are very much in use for the primality testing and which is uh, used a lot in cryptography and in the other areas. So one of the tests which involves these Fermat prime number is Pepin's test and it says for n greater than or equal to 1, the Fermat number fn which is given by this is prime if and only if 3 to the power fn minus 1 by 2 is congruent to minus 1 modulo fn. Now, to see this, let's take an example. Take F3 and by the formula, since I'm calculating it F3, so the value for N here is 3 and this will become 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 plus 1. So you see that this is 2 to the power 8 plus 1 and that becomes 257. So now let's apply the test in this case. This will become 3 to the power Fn. So I want to check now this congruence and if this congruence holds, we say that F3 is prime. So 3 to the power fn that is 257 minus 1 by 2. So this will become this is 3 to the power 128 which is equal to 3 cube 3 to the power 5 and whole raised to power 25. So we can split that which is further congruent to 27. 3 cube is 27 and this value 3 to the power 5 this is congruent to minus 14 and keep the power uh, as it is that is 25. This is further congruent to 27 into 14 raised to power 24 multiplied by minus 14 and all this is going in modulo 257 because you can see that here we are taking inside modulo fn this is further congruent to 27 multiplied by 17 into minus 4 with the same condition modulo 257 this is congruent to 27 multiplied by 19 which is further congruent to 513 513 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 257 and hence the result hold look at the result again we wanted to know this is to be congruent minus 1 and here we got this as congruent to minus 1 so we say that f3 is prime so in fact this gives us an if and only if result so these are very strong result for checking any random number n to be a prime or a composite so while applying this we know that this large number is a prime or a composite number